ho! Merry Christmas to me. Ooh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, JP. Right, I'll be buying again. I decided it was time that I upgraded my my camera bag. I've got a very nice camera bag, but it's just not big enough. So I've upgraded it to a Trager Pan Tetris 500v4. Now I think that's a Grouse 500v4 if you get it off of Amazon. I'll put all the product details and where to get it below in the description. So, I can open the box. Turn up today by DPD, is it DPD? I'm going to open it with my Ben Orford Nomad Pixie. What a lovely little knife. So, very gently, I'm going to open this box without sticking my knife through the actual rucksack itself. About 150 pounds. That's the invoice. Ooh, I like the colour. Let's put that back. It is like a, a coyote, dark coyote brown. Stitching on the top looks all right. Looks all to be double stitched. Right, I'm going to pull this out. I might have to change the camera configuration around so I can get it in. Oh! It's just a box of nothingness. And there it is. Can you see it? It looks very nice. Hmm, very nice. Trager Pan is a French company that does a lot of nature photography kit. You see here, I do hides, camera covers, and this camera bag. Now, it's got YKK zips all over it, so the zippage is very good quality, it's not going to fall apart, and each zip has got a nice little toggle on it, which is very nice, feels like a, th feels like a thin um, paracord with a little plastic thumb catch on it, really really nice. So, start at the top. Under top, we've got a clip buckle. I suppose it's going to be a clip used to attach something to the top of your bag. And these two straps that adjust the pitch of the bag when it's under load on your back. So you can either pull it forward towards your back or you can have it laying back a bit. Personally, I like it nice and upright, so the weight's going straight down on the on the waistband, on the hip band. Again, on this side, we've got another two nice, tough snap buckles, which you could use for fitting on a kit bat, a roll mat for laying on the floor, or a hide. Or something like that which is very nice really really nice webbing it's all made out of like a cordura material and it's like a really dark coyote brown looks well padded on the back now this part here opens up it's zipped and that's where the inter that's where the rucksack cover is rain cover which is really good it's nice good position sometimes they're on the bottom but i like that position on the side 
and there's more straps there, more sort of buckle areas there that you can strap things to as well, which is right nice. And that's got two zips on it as well. On the other side, another two snap buckles. And this has also got a little pocket on the bottom of it. I suppose you could put a, 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 bi, a tripod or a, a monopod in there and strap it to the side. I'll probably use that for my flask or a water bottle or something like that in there and strap my me, me, uh, tripod to the other side. But that's really nice, really strong, it's elasticated, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> on the front, we've got another zip pocket, another three zip pockets on the front. This one has got an opening at the top and this one has got two openings on the front. I suppose I'll put an emergency battery, a couple of batteries in there or a memory card or something like that. Now these pockets are rather nice because they've got, they're bellowed so when you open them up, you see they've got a bellow in the side, so the pocket doesn't flap open and whatever you're trying to get out, fall out. Same with this one. This one's bellowed as well. It's got a nice long pocket, and this is bellowed as well, which is rather nice. I like that idea. And also in here is a couple of pen holders, a little clip you can clip your keys onto, because I am murder for losing my keys. And then there's another like little wallet pocket, I suppose you can put your wallet etc in there, a little notebook or whatever. So that's that's really nice. Again, YKK zips. Really nice, really tough zips. Now it's got another snap buckle on the front. I suppose you could even put a monopod in there and clip it to that part on the top as well. That's nice. What else have we got here? Another Another pocket there. Right, this pocket here goes through into this part here. Now you can unzip. Yes, it's about the same size as a carry-on luggage bag, I think. It's not too heavy. I'll put the specs in the below. In the comments below. Now this that unzips like an expander panel and that is really nice I like that so that's like an expander panel there so inside this you can fit waterproofs spare set of clothing uh, throw over hide or any anything in there laptop iPad etc it's a nice big space in there put a full set of clothes in there it's really nice I like that and that Obviously, you can zip that down and access that from the front. Also, in the front, you've got two pockets, which are really nice. You put your your wallet, your wallet, and your passport in these two zip pockets here. I'm liking it so far. So far, it looks good. And I've got a few rucksacks of all different sizes and shapes. So I know my way around a rucksack. The next one, you'll have to excuse my um, film work here, but I've just got it out of the box, so I'm just diving in where I can. Ooh, that's nice. Right, so it's got a zipped liner, inside it's got a zip liner, now this is where your camera goes obviously, and this li liner is zipped inside there and it's got reinforcing all the way around the edge that can come out, so if you wanted it nice and, nice and dare I say it, floppy, rather than hard, okay, you could do it that way, but that is a nice nice feature I really like this it's hitting all the spots at the moment so inside here again I put my camera bag uh, I can put my camera in here it's got lots of different dividers 
Oh, I would have fit more camera kit to fill it out a bit. What a shame. I like that. That's really nice. And you can also buy other um, inserts, another set of in inserts. I think they're 10 euros for another set of inserts. And I might just buy a set of them, just because they might come in handy. You know the score. Okay, so that's really nice. I like that. And they all, obviously they all come out and you could just use it as a day bag, put your camera in there. You could, you could literally use this bag as, as your hold luggage. I mean, if I was going somewhere jungly, I'd get my camera, my macro lens, my telephoto lens, all my batteries, everything in this bag, plus my clothes probably. I only put a couple of pairs of shorts and a couple of t-shirts, etc. and some underwear and stuff like that in my bag when I'm going to jungly places because you literally don't need it. Um, there's usually plenty of places you can do your washing or get, get your washing done for you and you simply don't need loads and loads of stuff when you go away places like that hot and humid right so inside near this is one of the this is the feature that I really really like I think they sold it to me really now inside the back of the lid of all these little pockets I hope this is coming out alright on camera and there are all these little pockets however the pockets are see through now over the years I'm going to teach you bushcraft and survival and stuff like that. Taking camera kit and all that sort of business away. If you don't pack the same way every single time, so you know exactly where everything is in your rucksack, which is favourite, you should do that. Pack the same all the time and know exactly where everything is, so at night you can get to stuff straight away. If it's dark, you can get to stuff straight away. If you have an injury to your face or eyes and you need to get a first aid kit, you can get to it straight away. You're not mucking about inside a pack trying to root around, trying to find your first aid kit. But, inside this, if you've got lots of memory cards and cables and all sorts of stuff like that, which you generally do when you're a photographer, you can just exactly see exactly where it is straight away. And this has got a long zip at the top, YKK zip, a nice long pouch for cables etc. These are two now up these zips as well are covered with little bits of elastic to stop you catching them and undoing them, which is a really good feature. I like that. There's a lot of thought being put in this bag. Well done guys. No, I really really like this. You put a lot of thought into it. Two small pockets here, another larger pocket this side. And two smaller pockets here. So I suppose all my cables, my charger, bits and bobs are all going in pockets there. Really nice feature. I like that. I like that. I'm not easily impressed. However, that's impressed me. Okay, really nice. And that, this is like a tough reinforced plastic. They've really, really sourced their um, materials really well here. I've got to hand it to them. This is a really nicely made rucksack. Well, camera bag, I should say. Really nice. Okay, and on the bottom, you've got another two straps, which you can put a roll mat, or you can put a bivy bag with your, with your sleeping bag inside, roll it up, strap it to the bottom, whatever, tarp. Whatever you're using, your hide, all that sort of stuff on the bottom there. These are really tough. And these buckles are really tough buckles. Some of these buckles you can pull. I'm not mentioning any names. No names, no packs drills. But some of these on some of these rucksack manufacturers nowadays, you can pull these and they just pop out. Absolutely crap. Right, so it's got two good, nicely sized straps. Nice and wide. Okay nothing worse than a really narrow strap cutting into your shoulder and these are really nice obviously it's going to carry a lot of kit okay it's got a chest buckle which you can raise up and down you can raise up a bit if you want and that pulls it into your chest and stops it spreading and slipping backwards on your onto your back I'll just fold that out of the way it's got some nice padding on the back and a 
and a mid back um, bit that's not padded so you can get a bit of airflow through there but that looks like a nice amount of padding on the back of that it's nice and thick up the top and down the bottom not too not too thick on the sides that's really nice and also a good waistband now The reason we've got a nice big waistband, I and mean, this is why you have them on rucksacks, is because the weight of the weight in the bag is supposed to sit on the hips. Okay, so you hoik it up, do your waistband up, and it sits on your hips, or on your belly like mine. Okay, sits on your hips, and your hips take all the weight of the rucksack, not pulling down on these straps on the top of the straps. And again, you can pull these these straps here and it pulls that closer to your back so you can fit the rucksack nicely fit the, ca fit the camera bag to your back really nice I'll tell you what I'm going to load this up and uh, you'll see me using this out and about when I'm out doing photography and a bit of bushcraft or whatever if I take my camera this this is not sponsored by Trager Pan or anything I've seen it on a couple of, a couple of the guys uh, YouTube videos, you know it's like. It's coming up to Christmas, so I thought, why not? I'm worth it, as I said before. Okay, really nice. So I'll let you know how it goes. But it's a really tough cordura, cordura material, and it's like uh, you can see the colour of it, got the glow of the fire in it. It's about three thousand degrees in in my front room at the moment. I've got the central heating and the fire on. So that's it. The Trager Pan Grouse 500 or Tetris 500 V4 rucksack. Really nice, really solid bag. Okay, so thanks to the guys at uh, Trager Pan for posting it over. They're a French based, a France based company. Um, Again, they've not sponsored me on nothing to say this is fantastic, this bag will give you one for free. I paid for it at my own hard earned cash. Okay. And um paid for it at my own money. And if it was crap, trust me, I'd tell you it was crap. Okay. But so far I can't and I'm the most as some of you may know that know me, I'm the most fussiest sod in the world with kit okay but this looks good it looks to be well stitched and well constructed so Merry Christmas to me I'm gonna fill it full of all my camera stuff now Ooh, rucksack shiny shiny fill it all full of my camera stuff and um, I'll keep you posted with how I get on but first impressions for a big JP thumbs up. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Looking at my new rucksack. My new camera bag. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you like this review. Or this little uh, talk about this Trader Pan camera backpack. So, if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. And give us a big thumbs up on this video to help. It's one of my first videos. And I uh, quite like doing these unboxing reviews because it means I can buy lots of lovely shiny kit. It's fantastic. Anyway, it's Christmas. So, all the best to you all. I'll be seeing you before Christmas anyway, but if you don't watch any of my videos between now and Christmas, why not? And I wish you a very happy Christmas. Catch you all later. Thanks very much. Bye.